Well, here we are again. What is up? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. I would like to thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this video. Get your learn on, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're looking at today are properties of cylinders, okay? <clears throat> what are some of your most common cylinders? Shout them out. I don't care if your teacher said to be quiet. Shout them out right now. If you're sitting in a library, yell as loud as you can. What are some common cylinders? Go. That's good. Okay. Whoa, calm down, this is a library. Okay, some common cylinders would be maybe like a soup can or a Pringles can. Um, anything where you have two circles and it's connected by like a curved sides, okay? Uh, PVC pipe looks like a cylinder, okay? It differs from a prism because it's not like direct shapes. It's usually like a curved shape. So it's like essentially a polygon from not a polygon. Oh, look at that, connecting some learning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's look at the properties of a cylinder. Here I have the drawing of a cylinder. To, uh, to tell you what the different parts are, just look at his, okay? You've got a circle here, you've got another circle that matches up with it, and then it's connected by like a curved structure around it, all right? Just like in a circle, you have a radius that goes from the center to the side. The base would be that circular curved object, and then your height is the length of the thing that connects the two bases, okay? And we're gonna talk about a, one more little uh, label on that here in a second, okay? You have two parallel, usually circular bases. So these have to be parallel, which means if you extended it forever, they would never touch, okay? It means it goes on forever. <clears throat> Those are your bases. They're connected by this curved surface around there. Another example would be like a silo where they put grain and stuff. It's usually a cylinder, it is a cylinder, and then it's got two tops. Right, actually, they probably make an angle top. Let's not worry about that. Let's pretend they made it incorrectly. All right. The only other term I didn't tell you earlier was it has an axis. An axis is just like an axle um, in your car that connects your, your wheels. It's the line that goes in the center to connect your two centers of your bases. Okay. Again, most of the time when we think about a cylinder, we think about like a perfect circle, a perfect circle, and then it's connected by like whatever the, the tube portion is. Um, this is technically called a right circular cylinder um, because it doesn't have to be a circle. It could be another popular one is an ellipsis. Ellipsis, I can't ever say it. E-L-L-I-P-S-E, I think. It could be connected by ellipsis or an oval, any curved shape, all right? So most of the time, 99% of the time, you're gonna deal with the kind that's like a perfect circle, okay? So just heads up. Um, other thing is it can be oblique. It can, oh, it can be oblique. This is a perfect, lovely little cylinder. Oblique means that while they're still parallel, they're like shifted. Does this make sense? Like it's like at an angle. It'd be like if you took this and just shifted it over, okay? It's oblique. That's the only other real main term you'll see with regards to cylinders. Hope I told you something today you didn't know. I'm glad that you joined us for this little uh, foray, foray, foray into knowledge. Wow, should have planned that out better, but I still think I nailed it. Give it an 85%. That's a B. It's respectable. Top of my class, top 10%, 20, if it's a really smart class. What am I talking about? Check out learningbird.com. Thank them for sponsoring this video. And then I am at tarveracademy.com. Just Google my name, Tyler Tarver, and you'll find me on anything. And I'd love to connect with you. Hit me up. What up? Thanks for learning today. Boys and girls, behind the back. I'm glad that was caught on camera. Boop! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.